Ladies and gentlemen, here we are with the first game of the day and the first decider that we are casting, MBL versus Ganji. And he's the first mirror match in a very long time. In a very long time. Hopefully, guys, you are going to enjoy. This is MBL versus Ganji. In my opinion, MBL is favorite, but... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. And you, you know what? I have something to show you. The, the overlay seat. The overlay seat. But now... I don't have to sew both. Why? Because we only need one. The Malians. The Malians. Oh my God. This is Magodite, man. With the 50 euros Magodite. Thank you so much for the support, man. Really appreciate it. The Scarlet is there. That's why I put the other overlay. Both players got the Malians, guys. Are Malians that good, guys? Is the new change they did in the goal, as you can see there, that important? He's really that important? Oh my god. Magodite! Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Seriously sick. With the Scarlet in the first minute. Okay. Let's see now. We have blue Ganji on the right side. He has gone in front, berries in front, three wood lines, not super far from the TC. So this generation is one of the safest, probably. Berries at the back, goal at the back. So a little bit better map for MBL, right guys? A little bit better for him because he has the resources at the back. But you can always wall a little bit. He will need the buildings. And now the strategy, the approach, it's even more important. It's really even more important. Let's analyze slowly what both players are going to do. He has three bullets on wood. Well, now he's just doing the Lambrican with two bullets on wood. That means that probably Ganji is going to be up quicker quicker than his opponent. Thank you everyone for the support. He's laming. He's really laming the Rhino. And MBL is not gonna notice. Ganji is laming the Lamer. Oh my god. And he do not notice. The Rhino is now out of his POV. He's not even paying attention. MBL, what's going on? Ganji laming the Rhino. What's the damn hell? Oh, wow. With three villains on wood now. And the Rhino is coming. I'm going to now check. MBL is here. With the scout. This is starting as I expected. Quite crazy. Let's see. You never know. Oh. He's going to be able to take it. It's almost there. He's almost there. He's almost there. But MBL. Oh. Okay. No, no. He's not going to block it. Absolutely insane. Lame. By Ganji. And obviously, you have now same civilization with one Rhino more. Well, not one Rhino more. Actually, two Rhinos more. Oh, wow. Okay, this is a absolutely sick start. He didn't lose too much HP. And now, MBL... He's doing malicious. Gonna make the mail now. He's doing malicious, but he has one rhino less. A lot of other bullies here. MPL. Go, go, go. And uh, this is gonna be difficult. He's gonna make the loom now. And he's going to go up. 18 population. He's gonna start the wall. And definitely Ganji is starting this very solid. With four bullets on berries, three bullets on wood. Walling in front of the berries. Okay. Yeah, he's clicking up now. Look at the resources. Pretty sick. I believe he's going to make a second lumber cam. Okay. He's up already. And uh, MBL is bringing two militias. Trying to create some chaos. It's only two militias. Shouldn't be big, big deal. And Ganji is usually... He know that he's coming. He smell that he's coming. Oh, okay. Well, the two militias are already there. And now he's doing militias himself. So, he's gonna take the scout. He's trying three bullets. He has to be careful. The militia is coming. And right now, this is good for, for Ganji. It's definitely good for Ganji. He has two militias already and he has remembered. One elephant more. So, 
When the two militias are here, he's more than fine. It's still... No mill, and... He's getting time. But now, MBL need to wall like crazy. He's doing a third militia? Actually, no. He's doing just two militias. He need to make the, the mill here now. Well, actually, he doesn't have to do it. He has only one on goal. He's gonna send more. And now, time to deal with those... Scout and two militias. But guys, MBL... Oh my lord. He's gonna be using one, two, three, four, five, six villains walling. Six villains walling. Oh man. Six villains walling. He's doing the RT range. Need to make the double attacks. He's doing double attacks. I still have no mill right now. And he's gonna clean this. Not yet with the scout. He's gonna kill this scout. And MBL is so behind. That's why I'm not sure if those two militias were, was a good idea. Because now, obviously, if he wall completely... No, man, but he's still far from going up. He has no resources and... Ganji... Domination, guys. For now, domination. He took the scout on the two militias. He didn't even lose the scout. So now he can explore and see exactly what MBL is doing. MBL is fully wall. Yes, but he's still Dark Age. Not up yet. He's gonna have a bad time here to stop Ganji to, to get in. We'll see. He has the RG range. He's doing now the mail. He's gonna make uh, some houses to start to wall. And he's gonna go forward. Or he's gonna keep going like this. We're gonna find out the reaction from uh, from Ganji when he see all the walls. And Biel is still with obviously six villages more. But Dark Age. And now he's on the way to Feudal Age with 28 villages. Four villages on goal. Fully wall MBL. And trying to hold Ganji aggression. Ganji? No horse collar, doing the farmers. And sending the archers. The militias. Also. Ooh, okay. This is not gonna be easy to 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 wall. And I don't think MBL will have resources to go castle each, even if he's going up to 28. Look at his economy. His economy is just really low. Didn't make the horse corner, and now what? Oh, why well, he's not? I will, I will just hit the palisades already. But he's not doing. He's trying to explore everything. He's there with the archers. Blasmid. Well, obviously he's gonna have better economy, Ganji. And the point here for for MBL is that his economy is so unbalanced. Look at the wood he has. 500 wood. Foot and goal very low, and now. How do you catch up the numbers here? Because this is another big deal. MBL will need to probably hold with towers or something. Well, he do this often. But uh, let's see. He's going to make the market. No, RT range. Double RT range and Blasmith is the only way. Doing more buildings. He's doing the Lambricam in this area. Double RT range, Blasmith. And then like this, he will try to catch up. Because Kanji, right now he's doing the Blasmith. He's going to wall... But not taking any risk. Not taking any risk. It's four archers only. It's not like ten archers already. There's not that much time either. But let's see. He's doing the fletching now. Fletching is really important. But MBL fletching as well. And probably... Oh, he's doing archers. I thought he was going to go skirmishes. But no. He's not walling. And as you can see, Ganji didn't took any advantage from his position. Do you think, guys, he should have gone forward with a tower? <laughs> well, maybe. Because he was in a great position to try to dominate. But you see how the players don't take any risk. He also knows that he has the same civilization than his opponent. And if you take a, a bad battle, you know, he's kind of snowball even more. Okay, he's here with the with the archers. Also another archer in this area. This archer is also hitting the wood line. The efficiency for MBL is much lower. Doing more archers. Only one archer range. No horse collar still. And walling now. It still didn't wall all the map. And this is already 12 farmers. MBL 10 farmers. Not big difference. And uh, he's going to break it or not? At the end, Ganji only took down the the starting Dras. He has now two archers here. And he didn't wall. So MBL is already attacking his opponent. Let's see if he's going to be able to kill some villager. No. The archers are there. He's shooting. Doing the house. And another one, and then he's gonna try to 
No, no, no. MBL is doing a good job now with the arches. Good micro here. Killing with the Villiers. And that was a little bit greedy. Need to go back and then he's going to be fine, Ganji. But Ganji lost an important opportunity for sure. He's going to kill those arches. Yes, he will. He got it. He is still with the advantage. Look, his economy is going to wall all the map. And now he feels that he has the timing. He has the momentum. And he's right. He's probably right. Let's see here. He's coming with more arches. This is the problem. That MBL very soon is going to have more army. But guys, Ganji is doing an amazing transition to Castle Age. Wow. He clicked it on 16 minutes. Improving every time. Improving every time. And remember that it's the first time that maybe Ganji is going to be into a main event. You know? Of this caliber. Correct me if I'm wrong. Because they are fighting for for the spot. In King of the Desert 5. This is a decider. The winner will be qualified. The loser will have another chance. Next weekend, remember. But, well, when you are that close, you want to be there. And, even if now MBL has more army. Ganji will have now the timing. The momentum. And you can always make here a market. He's moving here to the Lumber Camp at the back. He shouldn't lose any Villier, and uh, Abiel is far from going up. He can't do a market now. Exactly, market already on the way. He has so many farmers, 16 farmers. And now we'll see what is what he's going to do. Abiel has more army for sure than Ganji. But Ganji now with those few skirmishes, he can't stop it. And the biggest thing here is that he's going to have the crossbow, or even say... It, even better, the Botkin Arrow. Why I'm telling this? Because, you know, five arches, five skirmishes. You don't know exactly what he's going to do. Crossbow? Skirmisher? Yeah. And now MBL? is up, guys. He's on the way to Castle H. He is stabilized. He is stabilized. MBL has a lot of experience, remember. Can you know exactly what to do as well? And he's walling here. Okay, this is open, I think. Did he, did he leave it open? That's a big mistake, man. Oh my god. Big mistake here by Ganji. Now walling a little bit here with the market and the houses. The skirmishes are here, so it's okay. And MBL is still holding the position. Okay, the crossbows are going to be there, but with not so many. Yeah, MBL is playing a really, really nice game right now. A really nice game. If someone can hold this kind of situation, this is him. And it's crazy how with one elephant less... One Elephant last being in that position, even if Ganji did a very good and smooth transition to Castle H. Now, he has more army and he's stopping him. Three villages ahead for MBL. He still have more army. And, well, Botkin Arrow will be there. He still have a minute. So, this minute is very important. He's going to be able to do something, obviously, with two arches. Not too much. But now he delete the house and it goes. He's going to make at least skirmishes or not. We will see. You know, we will see. Okay. Thank you so much for that reminder, Rufus. Thank you for the Prime. Everyone, I have the, the text speech today muted just to focus in the casting. But uh, thank you so much for the for the support. Go, 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 guys. Let's make Kino the Desert, well, as always has been, a sick event. And that did re really need, obviously, the viewers' help. Let's go. 61 population, 59. Now, almost the same army. And MBL is going to do university right away or not? Both has this, remember, the same civilization. They can be same civilization. Only one game. And they did it. And now, university and siege workshop. Obviously, the timing, the momentum is still, well, better for Ganji. But... Population is almost the same. Here we are with the Palisade Gate that is going to go down very fast. But he didn't make a least skirmish. He's still with more crossbows. And Ganji is going to make now university or not? He doesn't have the university. Ganji is definitely creating some chaos. But he cannot see the Siege Workshop or the university. Both of them. He's going back now. The scores still say that Ganji is ahead. Is he going to make ooh, his wall completely? But it's still no university. He's doing here. He probably should make it here. Then you cover also this area. But he might be afraid that he's coming. And then he's denying that one. This is a lot of farming. 23, 21. It's almost the same, guys. It's really almost the same. And here he can't do any damage. Any damage. Remember, the game is so important. This match is so important. It's for a spot in the main event. And already... Warranted $500 only for qualified, okay? Ballistic, remember, 80% cheaper. Cheaper, no, faster. Faster, the, 
University upgrades. Ganji still with more army. Let's see now because both are very nice with the, with the micro, but Ganji is well not. Oh! Ganji sell the stone. Ballistic, at least Kimmerses and Plus 2, both are doing the same. So now the micro is going to be really, really important here. He has the heal advantage. He has to be careful. He has Ballistic faster. You have to be careful. This Kimmerses, look at the dancing here. Look at the dancing by Ganji. And both players now using their speed. But now Ganji is dominating here. He got the Plus 2 armor faster. He got the Kimmerses. And now with Ballistic, he's taking absolutely everything. Look at the army numbers 14 25, killing all. And MBL juice with two tone sentence is his advantage, but the military numbers, sick advantage now for Ganji. Look at the KD. KD, very, very solid for the Swedish player. By the way, MBL from Norway, Ganji from uh, Sweden. Forgot to put the flags, and I don't want to put now because don't want to miss anything. I will put for the second game, guys. Second tone center. He bought it a stone, and what? The market is doing the damage here, the big deal. Oh boy. Okay. More crossbows. Have to be careful. And micro. Oh. Micro so important here. They still didn't kill any single Valier yet. So both have 52 Valiers. Guys, check idle TC for both players. Gandhi 11 seconds. MBL 30 seconds. Sick. Really, really sick. Siege Warshop now. Still with two tone centers and no idle time. Both with a very smooth economy going. Will Barrow. But. I like a lot MBL approach now. Boso and Heavy Plow. No Boso, not even horse collar for Ganji. Obviously, the army numbers matter, but the longer the game goes from here, the better for MBL. Why? Because of the economy upgrades. Well, will Barro kind of compensate a little bit? Horse collar, you have to be careful. He's going to do a mangonel, and the game is still very close. Now, the mangonel shot is going to be so important, and we all know how good it is MBL with these mangonel shots. He's very good. He's really, really good. Let's see. Military numbers is still ahead for Ganji. The game is super close. This is a siege war shop on top of that hill. He has to be careful now, Ganji. And he is being careful. That goal in danger. But he's he has this goal on the left, it's okay. He relocated the villagers. And now, with the Magonal coming and the crossbows, he's gonna try to take this Magomel. Oh, okay. No, no, no. You don't want to shoot there. I think one valley here to repair will be ideal. He did a good job, both players. But that mango now. Oh my god! No, he didn't kill it. Didn't take the mango. And now he lost his own mango. In these battles, these battles are crucial. Still, he didn't let him make yet the siege war shop. Forward. And it's tricky because that will be more economy. Now, four farmers. All right, another TC on the stone. Great. Three TCs. Really important, three tone centers, 63 village, 61. It's still with more army, but MBL is bringing so many, so many mangonels with heal advantage also. He's now splitting those units. The control is real, the level sick. And he never made the siege workshop. He has to be careful with the heal advantage here, and he's not even, he's not even able to take it. Mangonel, oh, Ganji with the shot. Ganji with the shot over MBL. You saw that micro guy into his Bangonel. And now he's gonna take this Bangonel as well. Awesome play by the Swedish. Really, really, really good play here. He is taking still more army all the time. The KD is, is in his favor for sure. And the game keeps going close. And all the Siege War Shop. The thing here is. A bada boom now from MBL could change the game. But for now, obviously, the control belongs to Ganji. It's also true that MBL has more farmers. Just check. All this is very important. Check Capture H because it's really important. All the data that they have right now. Same village on wood. More farmers. A little bit more on goal as well. Okay. And that's because he has some idols. Yes, five idols right now. With MBL, only one. He's going to try to raid. Yeah. And Ganji has killed... One Valier. This is the Echo KD only. All about the military for now. All right. He's now mining stone. Boso. I still love it a lot. The economy upgrades those. That in the long run, it will help a lot to MBL Echo. But let's see now. Blue can see this. Ooh. So important is he has the hill and not taken. But he's going to take this Wango now. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's so important. And MBL, MBL with the mango shot. Look at the score. Is the same. Damn it. 
Damn it, he took both mangroves and now MBL is coming and going to repair those two mangroves. That's a problem. That's a real problem now for Gandhi. I still have this heal, yes. He still have more army, of course, but not as much as before. And MBL is still with more. Oh, this is good. With more villains than Ganji. Population the same. The game is extremely close. We expected a close cities. I picked this city because I thought it was going to be nice. A close one. For now, ooh, this is not good for, for Ganji. MBL doing a great job here. Remember, he got limit by his opponent. And now MBL playing really, really nice. Really, really nice. MBL 26 army. Ganji 20. Ganji's in troubles. Ganji's in real troubles. Need to do more mangoners. And ladies and gentlemen, I told you that I like it a lot, his economy approach. Now, with Heavy Plow and Bozo from the start, basically, he's having the resources to go up to Imperial. Amazing gameplay. MBL is coming back from the hell. And he's on the way to Imperial. And he's taking the game. Oh, boy. Is MBL back? It's really back. Because that was... Three minutes ago, the situation was completely different. And this is going to give to MBL, in my opinion, a lot of confidence. I don't say that he didn't have that confidence. But how the game was going, mirror matchup, lame it, being behind, quite behind, I will say. And then able to do... Oh, man, that micro with the units. Now he's going to lose a lot. You have to be careful. Where's Ganji army now? Aye, aye, aye. Well, he took a good micro shot here, but he still have the hill. And guys, Ganji is not even up to Imperial. This is game for MBL. Crazy, but MBL has a crazy economy now. Crazy resources, my goodness. And now he can do whatever. Check those resources. How this is happening? Controlling the army better, man. Few shot that make him take the army from for Ganji. And then even if he has 99 villages and his opponent 93, Ganji has two minutes at LTC only, but he has been building more military than MBL to keep the control. It's still MBL, sorry, Ganji can sell the resources now and go up to Imperial. But the problem is that now MBL will have chemistry, will have chemistry. Ooh, okay, those shots. Eight army, 26 army. MBL resources are sick, guys. Seriously sick. He's gonna go up to Imperial now, Ganji. He's going up to Imperial or not? Click it, amigo. 1,200 foot. Crazy resources. Taking the mango. No, no. But he's gonna take now. No. Uh, now one for one? Yes, he took it. And this... Ooh, this is really, really dangerous because now it can snowball a little bit. Bill is 105.99. MBL in Imperial, okay. But here we are with the hill. He's doing chemistry right away. A lot of resources. But he's now controlling this. And Ganji's back in the game. Because if Ganji's doing now a castle on this hill, he's going to control a guy in the position. And MBL... How many villains on a stone for MBL? That's why his economy has been probably smoother to go up quicker. Oh, he's gonna take it. He got it. He got it. And now, castle on the hill. MBL, zero villains. Zero villains on stone. Sick. Scale bar and armor. 35 farmers. A lot of resources. But why he's not moving to cavalry earlier? I think his military transition here for MBL, I don't know what you think, has been a little bit slow. A little bit slow. He could have right now a lot more. He's now having bomber cannons. But the castle is there. And with the castle, he's going to require some time. This mining camp will be great, but the crows are here. And now, he's killing the building. It's crazy, guys. This game has back and forth all the time. 142, 133. No mistakes. It's still the LTC. Very impressive for the time we are. And this is already hand card. Hand card, great upgrade. It's still no heavy blow, but... Well, in a little bit. And that army is going to be in the hell. I mean, if he got uh, chemistry. Yeah. Remember that there is no plus three for this civilization. No Bresser. So, yeah. Light caps now. Ganji is going to be in Imperial in a moment. Population is almost the same. He could take the relic here. He's buying resources and now he's going to make a castle. No, where he's doing another TC. He's mining a lot of stone. Okay, no castle. The bomber cannon. Ooh, took it. Well, he's going to make chemistry right away. All the army is down. This castle is important. And now chemistry needs to be done. 
he's not doing now he's doing chemistry he need the bomber cannons too this castle is very solid as well controlling this hill and controlling the goal Oof. okay but four bomber cannons how important it is how important it is to be in imperial quicker he need to send all the army and the mangrel if he's able to push him back a little bit even if he's not killing and push it back a little bit he's gonna be great and all probably for ganji we'll see We'll really see, but the light guys are already there. He's gonna have army, he needs to go back, and... Ooh, he's controlling the army like God. He's controlling the military really well, but now... Chemistry and Bomber Cannon for... For Ganji or not? Trebuchet. Bomber Cannon will come as well, both with the same. Here the control is crucial, it's still no relics for any of the players. Three stables, thank you for the follow. And now... Oh, stone walls to avoid the raid. Honestly, I like it. Is the way to go. He's gonna make Cavaliers. Yes. Cavalier upgrade. I'm telling you. If you wall this area, you are not getting raided. But light gas are coming. And he's coming with the light gas already. So you are walling, but this is still open. You need to make some houses. We'll see. We'll see what army is going to do. He's doing the house. Plus two attack. Bomber cannons. And they don't take still any risk. Still walling. More and more. This is the castle on top of that hill. And population MBL with more. Oh boy. Oh really boy. This is what? TD. What that upgrade is doing, guys. Do you know or not? I want to see the professionals in the channel. But that's a very nice upgrade for what is coming. A very nice upgrade for what is coming. Well, I have said many times. Obviously, I'm not objective. For me, Arabia is the map. It's not that it's the best map. It is the map. You know? I'm not objective. Of course, I'm BS. Yes, I am. But Arabia is the map. Not always gonna bring the, be the, be the, the, the best games, but for me, it's the map. You know, I it is what it is. For me, at least. This is camels. One is going camels, the other is going cavaliers. It's gonna be better camels than cavaliers. Ooh? Well, he's walling now more, and the ratings are gonna be crucial. How much gold you get is also super important. It's still no relics yet, but it, unable to take this castle. Let's see the skirmishes. He's coming with the Cavaliers. The Cavaliers plus two, no plus four. Need to go back. Uh, the Farmers, very important. Farmers for MBL, even with crop rotation, is doing Farimba already. Whoa, Farimba upgrade. He has a stone to make another castle. Did he wall completely? No, this is open, okay? Let's see if he's gonna notice, but this is open still. Plus four, and those camels are insane. Really good. He's doing hand cannoneers. Cavaliers, 10 Cavaliers is not an old. You have to be careful. He's going to repair this castle. He has to. He has so, so much stone. So he should be fine. But guys, Ganji still don't have army. He's going to go now and take the, the, the bomber cannons with the army. No, NBL, 50 army, 200 population, 160. Ganji, no military. He's losing a lot. Really losing a lot with great resources in the back, but the MBL playing right now sick at the limit. At the limit, taking absolutely everything. He has the hand cannon, he is okay. But the MBL 200 population, Gandhi 153. And now with the bomber cannons, with the camels fully upgraded plus seven, he's taking absolutely everything. Tigis and I is upgraded, yes. He can help a lot against the rating because he's shooting from the tone centers, as you can see, but the timing, the momentum is for MBL and he's doing an amazing first game. Was in a bad position, but he's showing that MBL want to be back in this edition of King of the Desert. Remember that in King of the Desert 3, he reached the grand final against Leary. The grand final. Are we gonna see this MBL in the tournament? Well, this first game is only talking about a good, very good performance. 143 dollars, a lot of farming. Ganji keep trying, but the player from Norway is doing a great job and now don't think that he can stop him anymore yeah the castle is well he can do a castle here but the problem is Gandhi has no army anymore no army at all he's a spamming hand cannoneers but definitely this army is more powerful he has the mobility he has also the bomber cannons even with some crossbows that can help a little bit and we're waiting a little because Gandhi will have to call him now because he's over it's really over and MBL showing his power in this first game remember mirror and limit amazing game in my opinion by mbl let's go
Great play by both. Great play by both. Similar, similar APM as you can see. Uh, 80 Chromos 46, but how this happened in this game? Well, NBL controlled the army great, in my opinion. Great, but his macro was really on point. Remember that he did heavy blow Bozo from the start. I really think it gave him some economy advantage that he took it because Ganji was having good army uh, advantage during all the time, but look at this time up. Three minutes faster was really sick. And now we go for game number two. Let's go, guys. Game number two. We have NBL and Ganji. Let me use catch up here. And Ganji's coming to lay my guy in. He's coming to lay my guy in. And NBL knows, I think. Uh oh. Ooh. He's. He's waking up the, the, the beast. No, no, no. This is not good anymore. This is not good anymore. Thank you for the prime. And uh, he can't take it any anymore. Any lame? Hmm. Oh, what he's talking? I don't know. I don't understand. <laughs> he says something. I have no clue what he said. If someone understand that, you know, tell me. Can you steal the ship, but he take it back? My, you know... Anyway, someone translate, please. Someone translate. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm gonna show you the overlays. We have Malai that is being very popular in the qualifiers and after the last patch. We have Malai and Mongols. By the way, I'm gonna show you something. I will show you also more games, you know? I will keep now, I have set up now my second monitor and I will show you more games during during the broadcast. I think I have everything set up. When the overlays are gone, I will show you and then I will focus on the map control, on the map uh, generation. I think I can show you here. Yes, this is Vivi versus Miguel. And if there is someone else also streaming, uh, Lee versus Mihai. I will also try to check it out. You know, give me a second and I will check if I can show you to that one. Uh, uh, I found it. I found it. Lee versus Mihai. Give me a moment. And Economia. Okay. Yeah, Lear Mihai is already 1-1, one, one, okay? It's already 1-1, one, one. but as I told you, I will I will show you, okay? All right. Let's see. Malaya Mongols. What civilization do you prefer? Okay. Let's see. Four villages. Four villages on wood. We have the four villages on berries. I still prefer the Mongols, you know. But Malai has shown it to be very, very dangerous. He has like three villains at the back, one in front. You know, the goal is quite exposed. The berries as well, and that's why he's walling. Well, this goal is exposed, but the berries are safe. Here we are with 19 population up, but remember that Malai can go up later and Bill is still be still fine, you know, be still fine, you know. Okay. Sorry, guys, it was taking gold. I was about to ask, is going to go scouts or are you going to do arches? You got the answer now. Gandhi is already mining gold, and this is scout. You don't want to fight, man. You don't really want to fight. This is the good thing with with Malai. Look, it's gonna click it now, click up now, and with three villages more, it's gonna be almost the same time. Probably what? Yeah, 15 seconds is lower, man. That's crazy. Do you think, guys? Why is that that popular, Malai? You think those free upgrades, military upgrades, are that important? Are those that important? Because I really don't know. 
if those are that important. Are they? Okay. Obviously, it makes that if you have uh, your opponents coming with cavalry, you make some marches and then you make few spears. Having in castle is a plus two spears for free is quite sick, right? Or also even for militias, potential men at arms, it gives you, you know, diversity. Real, real several options that you probably didn't have before. Now he's doing the RT range, RT range as well, and uh, yeah. Let's see if we're gonna have a close series. Okay. We're gonna have now the RT range here. Do you hear anything, any noise in the in the microphone, guys? Please let me know. It's incredibly hot here in Spain, and I'm using a, a small fan right now to keep my to, a, a little bit fresh because I, I'm melting already. Nothing, right? All is still good, right? Very nice. I mean, I hear the noise, but I hope that you don't hear anything. For now, it's very similar. As you can see, I am on Ganji point of view. He's coming with the scout, but the spear is already there. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay. It's gonna wall all the area here. That he has the blood, not yet. So you can see, guys, how I mean, if you go slower up, um, MBL, thanks to the diff, the, 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 the amount of all is more, just look at this. He has already a few farmers, he got the blasphemy, and they are not taking any risk. Why he's leaving this area open? He's gonna make another RT range. They're walling, and guys, it's all about the players. You can see how it doesn't matter how open the map is, the players are not taking now any risk any risk and they are just doing all the upgrades waiting for for the walls probably to then then attack he's coming with few archers but Ganji has more army still with two bullets behind fletching already no horse color for any of the players and both are going at the same time many 13 many 13 but this one is going to be better for Ganji if he notice he has to be careful. Okay. No, no, this is better for Gandhi 100%. He's gonna take everything. Yeah, he will kill. He got fletching already, faster, and then he's having a great time in here. You can see the KD taking all the units right now, and MBL lost absolutely everything. All the units right now. He is still walling, but now the momentum is for blue. In these kind of situations, I would love to see people going forward, but you know that they never do it. He's gonna wall, he's gonna be walling all the map, and now second RT range to catch up. Still no horse collar, but well, MBL is fine because his wall, not a single problem here. Not a single problem here. Guys, he's not the only one. Remember that there is more series playing at the same time, and if you want to know, this is guys, Leary, Leary, and Mihai. This is a Spanish streamer, Juan Perotti is called, both with the Mayans. And as you can see, Mihai is taking a Valir from Leary right now. He took a militia, but he took a Valir here. Very nice. Good series, guys. Good series going on. And I will, I will keep an eye on my second monitor to all the series, as much series as possible, you know? And uh, I will try to show you some important moments when, uh, when the games are going, okay? I will show you everything, everything, because I want that you are updated. We cannot cover all the series. Remember that the qualifiers is for the players to, to then focus in the games, pick the, the, the times that are better for them, and then we will see all the games during the main event, of course. Anyway, NBL, catch up now with the army. It reminds me of the other game. 
the, the first game because now with the second archery range, he catch up the numbers, yeah. but Ganji economy is now better. It's definitely better. Yeah. And if he's going up quicker, Lancers, I would love to see mobility, man. <clears throat> the problem is that he's wall completely, so maybe Lancer is also not, not an option. Uh, look at that. Look at how important is the scout. Guys, Gandhi is on the way to Castleage. Super quick, and the stable is there. He's doing the stable here. To don't be denied, but I was about to think, eh, maybe he wants to, to hide the, the, the strategy. Not really, because here you can see it. With some units. Yeah. MBL is not up yet. He's coming with those, but MBL never explore his opponent. Okay. <clears throat> Sadly, not a lot of aggression in Feudal Age. They are going more for the Castle Age. They are playing safe. It's a decider, and they don't want to take any risk. They don't want to play the next weekend, guys. Yeah. They don't want to play the next weekend. MBL has a, a market? Nope. He does have a market, so... He's gonna be... From... No. He's idling the TC on purpose. Look at the MBL idle TC now, guys. Over a minute, he has stopped doing the layers to go up quick. Look at this. It's ridiculous, guys. He's almost the same time. It's still faster, Ganji. And now, Ganji has recovered the economy advantage. Thanks to this 1 minute and 16 seconds, because this is like losing three villiers basically remember that you can make one villier it's 25 seconds 25 seconds so he has lost there quite a lot you know he has lost there quite a lot for sure all right scout and skirmishers He's going first two knights and then lancers. He still have 20 seconds. I believe that the MBL should do a monastery. We'll see. He's coming with the skirmishes mainly. He's gonna try to wall now. He will wall. It's a skirmishes only. But if he's doing the army... Ooh. Crossbow, Botkin first. Botkin first, but he's okay. He's gonna go with the knights to try to, to catch up the reinforcement. I think so. He's now walling. He's gonna have the lancers. But the, 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 the timing is so close. Siege War Shop as well. It's gonna go 1 TC completely. Yeah, it's coming aggressive. He's moving the, 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 the wood to the north. But that's not good. Because right now, with all this... Oh, wow. Ganji has no wood to make a mangrove. I think this is a mistake. He should have dropped it. Look at this. Amount of army from MBL. He has 24 army. He need a Mangomel. He's not gonna have now the resources. He has the Mangomel coming now, but gonna be a problem. And he's fully wall at home. He's trying to distract. Okay, but this Mangomel shot need to be crucial. He's out of the goal. And ladies and gentlemen, MBL playing safe, but super strong. Really nice. Let's see the Mangomel here. You can't lose the Mangomel. If he lose this Mangomel, he's dead. He's really dead. We'll see. Okay. And he's microing great. Let's see now that one. He needs to put Phyllis on goal because he's not going to have goal forever. Just look at his goal. He has no goal. He's here with two knights, but the knights are going to be down. The average for those are blunders and plus one, but he's splitting the units. And now he won't have goal soon. He buy resource. Yeah, he's buying some resources or selling at this point. But MBL not losing any archer with the Mangonel. Now he lost one. He's still trying to repair. Resources at the limit. He no. Ooh, that was a good shot. That really was a good shot. Is he mining gold now? Yes, and he need to wall here. Okay, still killing few villages. The difference is insane, guys. MBL has right now. Only two villages more, but look at the army numbers. Oh, okay, he's gonna clean it. He's not not having gold, but now he shoot properly, and he's gonna clean absolutely everything. Bada boom! Look at the army numbers now. Army numbers drop like crazy. The score is almost the same, and at the end, he did the job doing a second tone center in the goal, and it's only four villages difference. He hold it. 
He hold the position. What the hell? Gonna make the tone center here. And the game keep going. Now a stable and monastery. Obviously, MBN has the advantage because he killed three villages. But at the end, he killed it a lot. And now the knights, the lances, and the mangonel is a better army. That's why he's doing a stable. He won mobility. Elephant. Okay. Well, he need monks as well. He definitely need monks. The game is stabilized completely. And I think he need a monastery too. We'll see. They know better, of course. They definitely know better. Okay. Many farmers. He's doing the market here. The game is stabilized completely. Six bullets advantage. Now he's gonna make another TC. Three tones and this is very important. Well, and then... Depending the longer the game goes, what do you prefer here? The great classic Mongols or Malai? Ah. Oh my god, look at the MBL. It's coming with elephants and crossbows. This army is not an oath. Ganji is not doing military. He's booming. Only two Mongols. MBL is coming. Let's check blue now. Okay. Just look at this army. How do you stop those elephants now? He will need... I told you that he need a monastery. But, but, let's see his reaction. One volley down. He's coming with elephants. Monastery on the way. Double monastery. You need... Now double monastery maybe is too much. Because if you think about this, there's no goal. Ooh, he's playing amazing. MBL is playing really good. Like, really, really good. He has no military, man. I think he went too much into the booming. I I mean, I know that the economy is so important, but he didn't do any army, Ganji. Well, MBL, keep doing military. Keep doing a lot of farming. Look at the elephants. The crop is going around. Now, Siege Workshop. He's playing very good. Like, really, really good. Yeah. Ganji's not doing anything wrong, but this is about decisions. And right now, MBL is taking all the right ones. He's having now double monastery. He will convert now the elephants. Yes. Yeah, because those are slow. So he will have to delete them. Oh, what? <laughs> Insta conversion. Okay. Well, do you need to repair that mangonel? To repair that mangonel is not going to happen. No, don't convert that one. Don't convert that one. The, okay, the other one that is full HP. And he converted. But the mangrove was really important. He has no goal to make another. At least he he converted those. But guys, Belia's difference is still increasing. He's not a huge one. 72, 64. But the amount of farming Enbil has is sick. He can even take the relics now. He's having the map control. The crows are coming. And as I told you, where's the mangrove now? Mangrove on the way. That's why it was so, so important to... To keep the Magonel alive. Still MBL has one, two, three TCs. Good amount of farms. Really good amount of farms. Okay. And we see now a couple of elephants. The crows are moving. Getting closer to, to his economy. The problem with this aggression, guys, is not what you kill. That is important, too. It's how much is idle. Ganji, 57%. 58% efficiency here. Yeah, man. And that's quite a lot. Ooh, he's gonna take it. And now, converting those ele those elephants. And when these get this speed, it it's feeling, look at the score. MBL in the first game was a very close one. But MBL in this second game, I don't know if it's Malai, is this the decisions or what it is, but this is what you call a total domination, guys. He's gonna kill those crossbows? No! He's playing very good, man. He's playing... Oh, my God. He's playing really good. Like, really, really good. Yeah, he lost some now, but doesn't matter. He's killing a lot. And here with the two mangroves, crossbows, elephants, he's over. He's GG and MBL on Beast Mode activated, guys. Beast Mode activated. 2 Zero, 2 Zero for MBL. Very good play. Like, really, really good play by him.
No, but MBL play is smooth, really smooth. The kill similar because he killed, but army, 40 largest army. 40 largest army, largest army economy, 6,000 resources more. Total domination, 88, 69, game three, let's go. Game number three with MBL and Ganji. And the civilizations are Spanish and Lithuanians. Guys, we see Spanish now. And I don't remember. I don't remember, guys, to see a Spanish civilization at all. You know? At all in King of the Desert. Don't know what you think. Did we did we see this civilization? I don't think so, actually. You know? I don't think so, you know? Yes, but um, I mean, that's 2017, you know? 2017 in KOTD1. I remember those series. Thank you for saying Yeah, it was against Leary, actually. Happy Happy versus Leary it was pretty crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you guys for the support. Go, go, go. Don't forget that all this support helped a lot to the channel and to the tournament to grow and to also increase the prize pool. Let's go, amigos. Sick. All right, he's gonna push those those server, and we have a Spanish civilization that now with every upgrade you get 20 gold for free. So you can make a militia rush without mining gold. You do loom, then when you do double dice and horse collar, you have the gold for free to to make the upgrades. You know, and you don't need to mine gold. Even if you make the economy upgrades with the loom included and so on, you can reach the 100 gold and make bloodlines for for a scout rush. Lithuanians still have a strong. Start with 100 food extra, not 150 anymore. But in Castellate for each TC, you get 100 extra food for free. Well, it's supposed to be a buff in the early game, not, but then later for the boom, basically. Or, yeah, yeah, for the boom, pretty much. The map, he has gold at the back. You can see the two wood lines here at the, on, on the sides, far from the TC, the one in front. But this looks a similar map, yeah, more or less, you know, can't complain. Gold in front, berries at the back, while here is berries in front and gold at the back. They switch those. Are they gonna go scouts or is gonna go again some militias and archers? Okay. You can see, guys, how even if Ganji is, is getting there, he's improving and improving, he's getting closer. It is still hard, you know? It is still very hard. Of course, he has to have chances. There's a second quality for the next week, but. It's hard to get into the top 16 players in the world, or not, guys. Like, you can see. I mean, they have opportunities to beat some of the big names, and there's always some upset on you can get one game here and there, but it's still complicated, right? Still complicated. Okay. Since the game is, is just starting, I'm going to show you how right now. Thank you so much for the follow. What I'm going to show you, guys, the second monitor. Second monitor means that here, Leary, if you check the score, is now with almost almost the 2-1 in the score. He has 64 villages, 23 army, while Mihai 50 villages, 5 army. So he's getting there now and gonna be 2-1 over Mihai. Mihai started the series winning. And this is a mirror match with the Mayans, and Leary is dominating. This is the other series that are being played right now. We can check this because they are looting the Severus, and then you can see some more stuff. Oh, what is this? Not this here. Okay. Yeah, Leary has one already. And how is the other series going? Well, the other series that we can check, guys, is this one. And in this one, we can see Miguel and Vivi. Miguel with what with the beautiful link as vivi is a special bulgarians who picked bulgarians in kotd vivi only vivi bulgarians you know and what is happening here vivi is losing and he's gonna be one one series vivi and miguel because incas dominate but then we are back into our game because our game is about to be in feudalage already and what means that it means that we're gonna see what strategy is gonna pick MBL. For now, he's walling. Don't have a single a barrack yet. He has the mill, he has the lumber camp in both sides, and here we have a barrack too, with 
Gandhi that is gonna go scout this time. Uh, I think so. I think so because there is no goal. And a scout with Lithuanians looks like very smooth for me. Yeah, he's up 18 population super quick. And BL is walling and he's going for goal. Okay. Okay. Stable, right? Nice. A stable mobility. But what is MBL going to do here? He's going to do militias now? Arches with the Spanish? Oh, boy. Yeah. What is this, man? MBL is a special, man. MBL is a special. He's going archers. Do you see? Do you see a Spanish going archers often? I mean, you know, guys, what is? Uh... <laughs> you know that the Spanish is known for the crossbow upgrade, right? For the crossbow rash. My goodness. Well, Ganji is walling all. Well, he's not walling all. He's leaving a hole here. Okay. He has to be careful. All right. Or scholar, and he's still he oh he see the archie range, but he doesn't know if he's gonna go use skirmishers. He's doing horse collar, Ganji. I like it. This is still open, which is terrible. Hopefully he's gonna wall. He's walling all, and now he's gonna come. Oh, two ships. All right, and he's doing arches, man. And build is going arches. No expect the Spanish archery. I know. I agree. Yeah, but then MBL is full wall. Yeah, the berries are exposed, but MBL feel confident being wall. He has three scout, one spear, and he see the archers. Crazy, really, really crazy. Okay. Population is now the same, almost the same. Okay, guys. He's still op he's still open. Okay, he just is still open. I, I just wanted to be clear with with this situation. Archie range now with four villages. He's gonna go some skirmishes. Yes, remember that the skirmishes are faster for Lithuanians. And he's walling all. You know, he's being a really nice architecture. He's walling everything at the back, in front, on the on the right. But then, look at the MBL. All right, you know, let's go. I like it. Hola, hello, I'm coming. Um, um, let's go in. I mean, it's this it's just nice, you know. You leave the hole and then I come with the army. All good, guys. All good. No problem. What the hell? Like, seriously. Oh, and now people in the chat would say, it's on purpose, man. It's a trap. It's a trap because he has the skirmishers. Yeah, it's a trap. He's lucky that he sent one archer and one spear only, you know. One... Archie and one spear only, you know? Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. Okay, let's see those skirmishes. Now he's gonna take this spear. And the stream is perfect. The stream is perfect, guys. If he's dropping for you, it's because your connection probably is bad. Or you have a bad browser. Remember that I'm streaming in a, f uh, in a 2K resolution, that means 1440p resolution is higher quality than most of the streams. And you might need to close some browsers probably. So guys, if you are watching right now something else, maybe you need to open only my Twitch. I'm just uh, telling you that uh, high quality requires high resources, but the stream is not dropping. It's perfect because I'm checking in my second monitor I'm a, and in my OBS. On the left, look at the scouts here. He's going around. Okay. Yeah, it's not killing anything, but MBL don't have fletching either. What the hell? Doing the blasmid. 11 farmers. A lot of farms too. But now Ganji resources are so smooth, man. Really, really smooth. Yes, fletching already for MBL. Well, if he mining gold, uh, Kanji should be up quicker, much quicker. And honestly, 
I mean, if he's doing the upgrades, you, you will see that he gets now 20 gold extra. Look, right away. You see? This is the only thing that the Spanish got. Now we'll borrow another 20 gold extra. But I don't think this is just great, you know? Let's see. It doesn't make, in my opinion, Spanish that great. He's doing the tower now. And it's a good tower because you want to defend, of course. I don't really know if this was needed. You got four ar five archers and you got the skirmishes. Is the tower our reaction? I think so, honestly. If I was MBL now, I will come and make a tower here. Come on, MBL, do it. And people will think that I am a great caster. But no, MBL is going aggressive. Sending a lot of scouts and archers trying to break in. Going aggressive. He has his skirmishes. Those skirmishes don't have fletching. He's gonna make the market. And what Ganji is trying is to go up to castle it as soon as possible. But MBL, my goodness, is doing the market. Yeah, and he's on the way to castle it. Oh man. I should have banned the market for, for the tournament. Ah, no! The market is a crazy part of the game, and uh, using it like MBL did it is crazy. He's up quicker than Ganji. MBL with three delays behind, okay, but he got Will Barrow, so he's fine. He's completely fine. Now Ganji's up. He's gonna have Fletching? Probably. The thing here is, all these archers are now useless. Oh, he didn't have Blastmith? Okay. Stonewalls. Okay. He's doing stone walls, and honestly, he needed it because he ha doesn't have army to stop this. Not for now. Gonna have the blast bloodlines. I like bloodlines, but maybe Fletching is needed. Eh, he's fine. He's fine. In my opinion, he should be fine. He's gonna make a stone walls here, and then he's okay. Yeah, no problem. He's gonna stop it. It's true that those skirmishes without Fletching are kind of weak. He's not unable to do too much, and he wanted a lot. Mm, I remember it was Red Bull and it was also Empire Wars. It's completely different. Ganji was playing very, very aggressive. Just the opposite that in this series. He has been playing very defensive, trying to go up as quick as possible to castle it, but not doing an old army. MBL has spotted this and he's doing a lot more army than his opponent. It's true that now MBL does have a stone yet to make a castle. Do you want Kongs? But he's mining a lot. A lot of a stone. He might buy some. And then the Kongs and Monks can do the job. We'll see. MBL is in Castleage now, and I want to see what Ganji is going to do. But MBL is not rushing the castle. I like this. You know, he's going for some economy. Second tone center, monastery. He feels very good with this approach. And now, what? He has one stable. He's going knights, a monastery. If you want to grab the relics, yes. But he is still have bloodless and plus one armor only. He's gonna do what, MBL? He's doing Botkin, but... It's awkward, man. It's a, it's a weird gameplay. You know? Arches that cannot be crossbows, then he's doing Botkin. Obviously, Botkin will help. Even more if the skirmishes don't have a single upgrade. Oh, boy. No, no, no. You have to be careful. Wait a bit. Did you get the Fletching at least? Without Fletching, they are going to be weak. Bill is still not fully walled. Okay. And in this one? Ah. Still safe. And now with the Knights, he's coming. Guys, I'm checking, I'm checking, uh, BB has called the GG now on the other game. With 6,000 score difference ahead for Miguel. He still didn't call the GG yet till now, you know? That's just crazy. They were still in the same game. With 6,000 score difference, BB called the GG. Miguel was probably going to, to need to call the Psycho. My goodness. Anyway, never surrender. Exactly, man. Oh my god, these Chinese flyers, man. My goodness. Chain Bard and Arbor. Well, those knights might be very powerful now. He's gonna have monks. But, huh? Need to take the relics. Those knights are gonna clean everything. This is the what happened. Botkin Arrow is so bad here. He's gonna kill the spears. Take it. Nah, those knights kill all. But he left the scouts going in. Kidding me? That was really bad. Like, 
Obviously, he's gonna create some... Uh, yeah, he's gonna take a value here. You know that the scouts are going to be... Yeah? This is... This is... This is a big mistake by Kanji. In my opinion. Like, you could make a house easily. But now he's raiding a couple of villains already. Two villains. I'm gonna probably kill more. Okay. And now MBL is doing a castle at home. Castle protecting both town centers. What is he doing with those villains? He's gonna make a Lambrica? No, a TC. But... Guys, those scouts has killed already three villiers. So, this has been worth it. And now, now MBL is with a big advantage. Thank you so much for the raid. We're watching King of the Desert. $80,000 tournament. 1v1 Arabia. Well, the classic, guys. KOTD is back in the house. Those scouts are still being annoying. And now the scouts can deal also with the monk. This is not looking good for, for Kanji. He started really solid the first game. But honestly, we have to say that MBL is playing. He's playing in an old level till now. Or not, guys. What do you think? He's really. I mean, in the second game, he dominate, And in this one, even if he did a pure MBL strategy, a weird one, <laughs> well, maybe that's why it works, right? Because he's an MBL strategy. Pretty sick, guys. Pretty sick. Anyway. Going with the knights. Okay. Okay, Tatot has won, guys, very fast. I'm just checking all. He has won very fast 3 0 to Nili, okay? But that was expected, you know? I know that some people wanted to watch, but I think that was the, probably the most one-sided series in theory. If this one, Ganji is finishing like this, it's gonna be also 3-0, but the game is stabilized here. Tone center, 70 villages, 62. Okay, you have to be careful. Nah, Tato is super, super strong. You know, uh, he can win 3-0, not too nearly. Too many players, you know? Too many, many players. Anyway. He has 10 villages and he's gonna make another castle. Oh my god. He want to go all in. Ganji is still with the score late here. He has no more army. He has to be careful, MBL. Okay, this is so important. He's coming now with the villages. He does have the stone. He's gonna take. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. But. Oh, that conversion. That conversion was brutal. No, he converted us. What the hell? Oh, oh, what was that? What, 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 what? Did you see that? Instant conversion, man. I mean, what? One second? Ah, come on, man. Seriously, the Kongs are here. Now he's doing the job. There is a tower. How many knights he got? The monks, but the Conquistadors is doing, remember, Spanish villains. But guys, ladies and gentlemen, MBL with a lot, no, with better army here. He's going to make another tower. He can't. He can't. He's going to convert another now he, and now now you are converting for 20 seconds and you cannot convert this castle is sick no no that tower is not gonna work he need to delete it and guys this castle is destruction guys this castle is sick it's really sick taking both tone center now a tc in front uh disrespectful disrespect tc there is disrespect is this going against the rules of KOTD? I will talk with my admins because this is disrespectful. No, I'm joking, of course. Crazy, crazy TC forward. But honestly, you have the castle there. Why not? You take the goal. So why not? He's trying to go in, but this is many monks. No, no, no. This is not good. Oh my God, if he convert the Kongs, this is bad move by here by MBL. Absolutely bad move. Here, he converted quite a lot. No, 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 he's gonna lose absolutely everything. And now MBL, he's gonna lose all the units, as you can say. Definitely not what you want. He was overconfident. And now Ganji took absolutely everything. But there's one problem. The problem is that MBL has 40 farmers, 18 farmers. And that's a lot. And now, control the units properly. Control the units properly. What Ganji need here to dominate? Well, what Ganji need here to dominate is a castle here. You know, castle to defend this crazy push. If you do a castle, 
with the army he has and through the list more, it can be fine. Ganji is still with the score lead. More monasteries now. Another TC. He has the stone also at the back and gold. So right now, he has okay map here. This is this is one of those games that you love to watch, man. Anti-meta completely, you know? Anti-meta completely. And obviously very, very difficult. But here are the monks. Man, NBL doing a lot of conquistadors. The monks are great, but the NBL is still playing crazy. Going in and killing all. Ay, ay, ay. Those damn conquistadors. Doing the job. He's trying to delete this. But guys, he deleted a house that he can go through this area. Well, maybe. Man, those monks are, are sick. He's going to kill another villager here. He's going to convert or not. He got sanity. But guys, NBL playing crazy. Really crazy. Check his economy. Playing all in. Amazing gameplay, guys. And Ganji is playing good this one. Like, he's doing what he can. But NBL is going all in. He's spamming rams, conquistadors. He's going crazy. He's really going crazy. Wow. Look at this disaster. And ladies and gentlemen, NBL is telling with this city is, hey, I'm back. I'm here. What do you think? Because in the first game, God lame it. And now with the Spanish and this crazy double castle, Conquistadors going all in. And in the first game with Malai domination against Mongols, very solid series by NBL. Really solid series. Yes. Well, just look. His economy, 47 farmers doing a destruction, 32 bullets kill. It's, it's, it's insane aggression, guys. Now he's doing the castle, but that castle is not in time, guys. He's definitely not in time. Actually, if he keep coming, he's gonna lose so many villages, man. Oh boy, the Kongs are, by the way, plus two, plus two. Well, plus two armor. They don't have plus two at all. Use the armor. And the uh, castle is here, but the population difference is insane. And ladies and gentlemen, MBL, it's on the way to Imperial. Sick play by, by MBL. Amazing play. Didn't give, guys, in game two and three, a single chance. Oh, no bloodlines. Okay, he's disqualified for the event. No bloodlines, man. Unbelievable, man. He's not playing great, guys. He did a lot of mistakes. No bloodlines. He's not in the in the in the main event. He's not in the main event, guys. <laughs> Admin lost, right? Yeah, it's, it's really good play, and we have already two players qualified for the main event because this is over. Tatot and MBL is gonna make a third castle here. So the first players qualified for the main event are Tatot and MBL. Yes. With a very, very solid performance. Tatot and MBL already in the main event. All right, the castle is gonna be here. He's doing the market. Thank you so much, guys, for the follows. We have a lot of viewers as well today. This is great for the event in the qualification stage that we have this amount of viewers because in my intent, the main event is gonna be sick. It's really going to be sick. Dozeville is now taking everything. And now I don't know where to look, but where, where I'm looking, MBL is there. 155 population, Ganji 83. Solid, guys. Very solid play by MBL. Absolutely, man. Yeah, not having the bloodlines, I think we will discount $100 for the price pool. Is that okay, guys? <laughs> anyway, look at this. He's taking all the units here. And... Uh, yeah, when he reach Imperial, he might call it 3-3, 3-0, sorry, GG, well played, and uh, I expected closer series because Gandhi is a sick player, but guys, I didn't expect, I didn't expect maybe NBL play that, that solid, and remember that NBL, when he was on his peak, was probably that kind of player that was a scary player. Most of the people was telling in the interviews, what player do you, you don't want to face? And most of them were telling MBL because he has a special gameplay. You don't know most of the times what to expect from him. Who can make archers with the Spanish? MBL, guys. 3-0, domination. And if you watch on YouTube, thumb up, subscribe, leave a commentary. Sick. Thank you for the so king.